Hello, I'm Matt Latham. I'll be discussing with you guys Morse code and how to encrypt and decrypt and a little bit about the history of it. Um, what is Morse code? Morse code is a code assigned to letters in the alphabet and the numbers in the alphabet. And, the, and then it consists of dots, which are short marks, and then dashes, which are long marks. And these are based on the frequency of use. So letters used more often, such as E, have uh, a simple code, which is just a dot. While uh, like a Q has a lot more complex, it has like a few dots and dashes. Um, what Morse code did was it allowed for a simple transmission of complex messages across telegraph lines because um, at the time that Morse code was invented, uh, they didn't have a, or at the time that uh, telegraph lines were invented, they didn't have a way to encrypt or decrypt messages sent across, so that's how Morse code came about. Um, Morse code revolutionized the long distance communication industry and it led to the invention of phones and internet. This was the first um, uh, time in history where you could send a long distance message and it later led to phones and internet. Um, they also used it in the military, like especially in World War One, to send uh, messages back and forth from the front lines to um, from like the general to give orders and the railroad would send messages back and forth. Um, it was created uh, in the 1830 by Samuel F.B. Morse. Um, and then he finally got his patent in 1849. The first message that was transmitted was what God had brought so from there. And then today, uh, American Morse code uh, is nearly extinct. There's a bunch of different variations of Morse code. We'll, we'll talk about American Morse code today. And the only people that still use it are um, the amateur radio users and some Civil War reenactors. Um, how to decrypt is pretty simple. Um, you just look at the letter. So if you go to M, and then you go up to the key, and then you find that it's two dashes. So then down here you put the two dashes. And then in between each letter, you leave a space when you write it out. So then for O, you just go up to the three dashes and you leave a space and you have that. <clears throat> and then in between each word, you have the parentheses that separate it out. And then here are like the numbers. Um, for Morse code, you can send it two different ways. You can send it on paper or you can send it over the telegraph. If you send it over to the, the telegraph, which is this little device down here, it just sounds like a bunch of little beeps and little dots. Um, if you hear like the little did, then you go this way. If you hear like the dot, which would be like the dash, then you go this way. And then if you hear like a, a dot and a did, then you just follow the key. It's pretty simple. Or if you, um, <coughs> if you get it in uh, the form of in like a written form, and you look at the, it's pretty simple, you just look at the code down here, and you go up and find the letter. So, a dash dash dot, come up here and you see it's G, so it's G, and then three dashes is O, so there we go, and then, okay, just, um, some security vulnerabilities. The problems with it is that uh, the enemy can block the message from being, being transmitted or they can intercept it, which is what happened like during World War II, that other countries could uh, intercept what we were trying to say to each other. And then the enemy can also fabricate our message and try to tell us something that isn't true. Um, so another, like the problem with this Morse code is that if the enemy knows our key, then um, they can code our message. So then um, the Germans made an Enigma machine that double encrypt to make it more secure. And, uh, Any questions? <coughs>